Welcome to Yoga Excel. This is a free workout for athletes from Body by Yoga. This is the first half of the workout. To watch the entire workout for free, simply follow the link in the description below. Enjoy the workout and be sure to check out all of the other videos that we have that can help with athletic performance and recovery. See you on the workouts. Hey guys, it's Dean and welcome to the Excel workout. And this is our yoga for athletes workout. The goal here is to do all of those things that you don't do in your other workouts that you need for your overall athletic performance. So we're gonna work on a lot of things like balance, range of motion, flexibility, and bodily awareness so that we can make you a better athlete no matter what it is that you do. Pay attention to your technique, pay attention to your body. Let's get going. We're gonna start off today in a standing pose with your feet about six inches apart. And here we're gonna focus on integrating your breath with your movement. Take a big inhale in, lift your arms up. Exhale into a squat. Push your butt back, internally rotate your thighs, and then externally rotate your hips. Glutes engaged, knees back. Inhale back up. Exhale and twist. Bring your arm forward, bring your left arm back, Make sure that your hips are still facing forward, getting a stretch through your chest and your biceps. Bring it back up. Exhale, sit down into that squat. One breath, one movement. Inhale up. Exhale and twist. Push your arms in opposite directions. Look over to the side. Back up, inhale. Exhale and squat. Butt back, glutes engaged. Back up, inhale. Exhale and twist, look over to the left. So keeping this format, keep this up. Inhale, into the squat, engaging your glutes, engaging your thighs, back up, extending up, and then exhaling to twist, contracting your core, working on engaging your abs. Back up, exhale and squat. Go a little bit deeper this time. Make sure that your knees are back, your back flat, back up. And over to the left, press the arms in opposite direction. Open your upper body, back up, into the squat. Go even deeper this time. Engage the glutes, weight in your heels. Back up, last one of these. Twist to the side, and then back up, and bring your arms to your side. Now, working on some balance. Step your left foot to the back, lunge airplane lunge, knee over the ankle and the front foot, feeling the stretch in the front of your left hip, arms along your sides, straight into airplane, press down through the right foot, balance. Externally rotate your right hip to face out to the side, pull your left hip down to balance your hips, pull your chest forward to engage your core. So working on strengthening your knees, your ankles here, also strengthening your glutes, slowly, Bring your left knee up to hip level. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh and then sit down into a figure four squat. Push your butt down and back. Lightly press your left knee toward the floor. Keep your core engaged, keep your chest lifted. Feeling this stretch in the outer hip, stretching your external hip rotators, working on balance. Every time you shake a little bit, that means all those auxiliary muscles are engaging to help reduce your risk of injury and strengthen your whole body. And then stand back up, plant the foot down. That was one side. Opposite side, step your right leg back. No breaks. Into airplane lunge, knee over the ankle, palms facing forward, chest nice and open, core engaged. So first stretching the front of your right hip and then lengthening forward. From here, moving to airplane, press down through the left foot, lift your right leg up, point the toes to the back. And this is reducing your risk of injury to your knees and your ankles by working on your glute strength. So taking the pressure out of your quads, putting it where it's supposed to be, in your glutes, one of the most powerful muscles of your body, and either the largest or second largest. Point the toes, reach forward, and then into that figure four balance or that figure four squat. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, sit down. Make sure that your hips are directly behind your toes. If you notice that your toes are over to the left, 
just means that your glute's not working as hard as it's supposed to be. So get your hips to the right, line them up with your toes. And this is important because one, we're developing balance. Number two, we're stretching and opening up the hip for more power, more range of motion in your glutes. Go ahead and stand up all the way. Plant your foot. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, relax the shoulders. And now bring your toes together, heels about an inch apart. Press your palms together, interlace your fingers. Press your arms out in front of you. Lift your arms overhead, and then sit into a chair pose. So heels off the ground, press your knees forward just slightly, push your butt back. So chair pose on your tiptoes with your arms overhead, fingers interlaced. So lots going on here, strengthening your thighs, strengthening your glutes, your core, opening your chest, and working on your calves, and strengthening your ankles. From here, nice and slow, forward fold, heels to the ground, hands to the floor, look behind you, pedal your heels back and forth, back and forth. So mobilizing your hamstrings, working into the range of motion of your hamstrings for more power in your hamstrings and less pressure in your back, relaxing the neck. From here, we're gonna move into some squats, but they're squats like you haven't done before. So we're gonna bring the left knee outside the right knee and then bring the butt down. And then from here, pushing up into an airplane. Stand up, point the toes back, bring the chest forward. Four of those, so bringing it down, keeping the knee back, engaging the glute, and then pressing back to airplane. Now, use your breath with it. Inhale down, exhale back up, point the toes, use your left leg just as, right, just as much as your right leg. Two more. Notice I'm keeping my chest up to keep my core engaged. Press back. One more of these. Your right glute should be on fire right now. Press it back. And then extend your arms forward for warrior three. Opening your chest, challenging your core, challenging your balance, helping to reduce your risk of injury. And then step back to a warrior one. Point the back foot out 45 degrees. Square your hips toward the front. So the left hip is going to pull forward and to the right, arms up overhead and now if you want to stretch the front of the left hip your calf and the arms your upper body here right hand to your right thigh big inhale lift to your left arm exhale lean to the right going even deeper into this stretch so a deeper stretch through the hip also a deeper stretch through the upper body keep your chin up and breathe here Exhaling to go deeper. Now back to center, both arms up. Exhale it down, lower your hands to the floor. If you can't get your hands to touch, use a block. From here, straighten or straighten just a couple inches your front leg, working into the flexibility of your right hamstring, maybe the lower back. Looking down all the way behind you bringing your chest to touch your thighs. So bend your knee as much as you need to, to do that. And you can also push down to the right foot for a stretch to the ankle. Now, from here, pull your chest forward. Try to make your upper body parallel to the ground, and then extend your right arm up toward the ceiling for a revolved pyramid, a twist. Press your head forward away from your torso. Try to keep your hips in toward the middle, so don't let them go way over to the right and then try to touch the ceiling. So growing in all directions, head pressing forward, arm reaching up, feeling this deepening stretch of the outside of your right hip, and then take it down, step back up to a forward fold, and then bring it all the way up, butt down, arms overhead, arms back to your sides. All right, so we just went through one sequence on one side. That was a lot for your body. Take this opportunity to check in with your body. Notice what's feeling different. So all we did was about five minutes, but your body's going to feel so different on one side than it did before that. So this is the power of yoga, right? To change your body almost instantly. So we're gonna do a whole thing 
on the opposite side. Take notice of your body now. Let's check again later. Interlace your fingers. Press your arms out in front of you. Lift your arms up. Exhale to chair on your tiptoes. Squeeze the knees together. Get your butt back. Make sure that your knees aren't coming forward here. You wanna use your glutes. Again, those are some powerful muscles and a lot of people don't use those. They don't activate. So take this time while we're doing this slowly to make sure that your glutes are activating. Give this one more breath. Lift the arms higher, open your chest while keeping your back flat. And then forward fold, slowly releasing your heels toward the floor, your hands to the ground, trying to get your chest to your thighs. Bend your knees to make that happen. That way you can get a better stretch through your back. And then mobilizing your hamstrings, pressing down through one heel, then through the other, deepening the stretch as you straighten the leg. All right, from here, moving into those squats. This time, bring your right knee outside your left knee. Bring your right heel in toward your butt. And then from here, press to airplane. Exhaling as you stand up. Bring it back in. Exhale, stand. Point the toes back, lengthen your chest forward. Now, keep this up. The reason why we're doing this, notice that shaking that happens when you're doing this? That's you getting stronger. That's your muscles activating. That shaking is good. That means you're preventing your risk, or preventing injury, reducing your risk of injury. Try to keep the knee back as much as possible. That's going to help you activate the glutes. And again, knee injuries are caused by lack of glute strength. So if you can engage the glute, take the pressure out of your knee, that's gonna mean less MCL, ACL, or meniscus tears. From the airplane, extend your arms forward. One breath in warrior three. Point your toes back, press your chest down, lift your arms up. <sighs> and then step back to warrior one. Point the back foot out 45 degrees, pull the right hip up and over to the left, reach the tailbone down, sink into the front leg, knee over the ankle. Bring your arms up, exhale your shoulders down, relaxing the shoulders to help work into your upper body flexibility. From here, moving to the side stretch, lower your left hand to your left thigh, Big breath in, extend your right arm and reach to the left. So this is doing two things. Again, deepening the stretch through your shoulder and deepening the stretch through your hip. So working on building range of motion in both of those areas for more strength, more power. Give this one more breath, lift up as you inhale. Exhale, lean to the left and then inhale back to center. Exhale, your hands down to the ground. Keep the knee bent. And then depending on your flexibility, straighten the left leg until you feel a stretch in the hamstring. It might not have to go that far. And if it's doing really tight, use the block so that you can get a good stretch in your hamstring in your lower back. Relax the neck. Use your exhale to tighten your chest to your thigh, using your core strength to push your chest to your thigh and get a deeper stretch. And then bring it into Revolve Pyramid. Pull your body forward. Plant your right hand inside your left foot. Extend your left arm up. Keep your hips exactly where they are. Press your head forward. Roll back the left shoulder. Revolve Pyramid. So this is stretching your IT band. This is stretching the hamstring, your back. You're getting a nice twist for your spine, so strengthening your core. And also just look at how awkward this position is. This is a good position for your body because it's not used to this. So getting your body into these uncomfortable positions will help prevent injury later, especially if you play contact sports. And then go ahead and lower the hand back down. Step back up to a forward fold. Look behind you, tuck your chest to your thighs, and then drop the butt down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale your hands back to your sides. Palms facing forward. Take a couple breaths here. Check in with your body. 
Exhale, relax. So focus on your body. Notice how it's different after we just did that sequence. And now that you're nice and warm and you're breathing fast, all these muscles are activated. Listen to your body. See what muscles are on, what's off, what feels different. So this is a really cool opportunity to check in with your body and mentally get stronger. Build that connection between your body and your mind.